everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m, this is equal to 39. So what is the value of m, given that m is a member of real numbers? So let's provide a solution from here. We have 2 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m, which you can express as 2 to the power of 2, then this to the power of m then plus 8 to the power of m, which we can express as 2 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of m, this is equal to 39. Now, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of m, and 2 to the power of 3 to the power of m, this is in the form of 8 to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m, raised to the power of n. So applying this exponent property, here we have 2 to the power of m plus 2 to the power of m raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of m raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. Now we have that 2 to the power of m is common here, so we can let 2 to the power of m be equal to u. Substituting u, we have u plus u squared plus u to the power of 3. This is equal to 39. Now, we can write this as u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u. This is equal to 39. So let's take 39 on the left hand side. So minus 39. This is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u minus 39, which we can express as 27 plus 9 plus 3. This is equal to 0. So this means we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u minus 27, which you can express as 3 to the power of 3 minus 9 which is 3 to the power of 2, then minus times plus 3, this is minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2, then plus u minus 3, this is equal to zero now this part here this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of three minus b to the power of three which we can express as a minus b then here we have a squared plus a b then plus b squared applying this identity we have that u to the power of three minus three to the power of three this is the same thing as u minus 3. Here we have u squared plus 3u, then plus 3 squared, which is 9. So you can call this equation 1 here. Then we have that the second part here. This is the difference of two perfect squares. Express as a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now we have that u squared minus 3 squared. This can be expressed as u plus 3. And then here we have u minus 3. Let's call this equation 2. So let's combine this. We have u minus 3. Here we have u squared plus 3u plus 9. Then we have plus u plus 3, then we have u minus 3, then plus u minus 3, this is equal to 0. Now you can see that u minus 3 is common here, so we factor out u minus 3, so that now here we have u squared plus 3u plus 9, then plus, here we have u plus 3, and then here we have plus 1, this is equal to 0.
So this is u minus 3. Then here we have u squared. We have 3u plus u. This is 4u. Then 9 plus 3. This is this is 12. Then plus 1. This is 13. So we have plus 13. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 3. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is u squared plus 4u plus 13. This is equal to, to 0. So here we have that u is equal to 3. The second part is a quadratic equation here with a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and that c is equal to 13. So now, let's check the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 is c. Now, substituting the values of a, b, s, and c, we have 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times 13. So we have here 4 squared, this is 16, subtract 13 times 4, this is 52. Now, we have 16 minus 52, this is equal to minus, this is minus 36, which is less than 0. Now this implies that we have two complex roots, we have two complex roots, and therefore there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. And given that m, remember here, m is a member of real numbers. So in this case, the quadratic equation part is rejected. So let's proceed with u equal to 3. Now, if you recall, we have seen that let 2 to the power of m be equal to u. Now we have 2 to the power of m, this is equal to 3. To solve for m, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so we have rho 2 to the power of m, this is equal to rho 3. We have that rho 2 to the power of m, this is in the form of rho a to the power of n, which we can express as n rho a. So applying this power root property, then we have that rho 2 to the power of m becomes m rho 2, this is equal to rho 3. So let's divide both sides by rho 2. Now, if you simplify here, we have that m is equal to rho 3 over rho 2, which we can express as rho 3 to base 2. So this is the value of m. Now, the next step is to verify that this value of m satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify that this value of m here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that 2 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m. This should give us a value of 39. Let's substitute m so that we have 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2, then plus 4 to the power of rho 3 to base 2 then plus 8 to the power of rho 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. Now, we can express 4. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. And we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So therefore, we have 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of 2 rho 3, to base 2, then plus 2 to the power of 3, rho 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. Now, we have here 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2, plus, now, 2 is a power here, so we can express this as 2 to the power of rho 3 squared to base 2, and then plus 2 to the power of, remember 3, this is a power, so now we'll have this as rho 3 to the power of 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 39. 
Now, we have that this is in the form of A to the power of rock B to base A, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of B. So this implies that 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2, this is the same thing as 3. And 2 to the power of rock 3 to the power of 2 to base 2, this is the same thing as 3 squared, which is 9. And 2 to the power of rock 3 to the power of 3 to base 2, this is the same thing as 27. Now let's substitute 3, 9, and 27 so that we have 3 plus 9 plus 27. This is supposed to give us a value of that 9. So we have 3 plus 9. This is equal to 12 plus 27. This is 39, which is equal to 39. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this affirms that the value of m here, which is rock 3 to base 2, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.